Uh, yes, Mal? Um, what? Because you're here and you're, just, you're coming in hot. I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say something, you know, just something to let you guys stew on. Um, there's this challenge, apparently, where students are stealing soap dispensers, right? And so we've got that going on in school. People are stealing soap dispensers and soap. But last Friday, all anyone could talk about was how someone stole a whole toilet. Someone stole a toilet? Someone stole a toilet. Hmm. A whole ass toilet. Okay, then. Thank yeah. you for letting us know that. That was Mal's Toilet Corner, a new okay. segment where Mal comes and talks to us about stolen toilets. I want you to keep us updated on this, okay? Yeah. I want you to keep us updated on the toilet situation because I think that this is important. This is something that we all need to focus on. And it not, only talk, it not only is this a story about your high school, but it's also sort of a microcosm for our entire nation right now. I would say that politically, our nation's toilet has been stolen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You know? Truly, truly, truly. So I think that that's something that Biden really has to deal with. I think that probably the nation's toilet being stolen, I think, you know, I don't think it takes precedence over the pandemic, but it's definitely like a number two. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Which is funny because it's a toilet. And See? the American people have nothing to go on. Yeah. You are spilling so much. You, <laughs> Sorry. you are spilling so much stuff. Okay. 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 So this, this has been Mouse Toilet Corner. Very excited about that. And cut on whatever that new segment was. There you go. Bunny! Yes! Last week, a man in Canada died in a freak McDonald's drive through accident. Okay. I missed this one. Okay, so here's how it went. Okay. Earlier in September of this year, 2021, a man was in the drive through at a McDonald's in Vancouver. It was 5.30 a.m., and the guy was paying with his bank card, his debit card, and he went to go give it to through the car window to the cashier. But he dropped the card out of the window of his car. So the man got out of his car to pick up his bank card, but he didn't do uh, two things. Number one... He didn't close the door to his car, and B, he didn't park his car. So as he went around the door to pick up his car, the moving car pinned the driver between a pylon and the car door. He was unable to get free and he was crushed to death by his own car and died. He... he he crushed himself with his own vehicle. And I wanted to bring it up because he, the story... He pulled a Yelchin. Exactly. See, I wanted to bring it up because his, his, this man's, this Canadian man's death reminded me of the tragic death of, of actor Anton Yelchin, who was 27 when he died. He played Chekhov in the new Star Trek movies. And he was also run over by his own car... Well, uh, so I binged how many people are run over by their own car every year. And Answers.com had an answer for me. I'm not sure how much I can believe an answer that I got from Answers.com. But, yes. uh, buddy, why don't you guess? How many people, according to Answers.com, how many people are uh, run over by their own cars every year. Normally, I would think it would have to be a fairly low number, but in the past decade living in America, learning exactly how stupid people are, 
Yes. I am betting. I'm betting the number of people who run over themselves with their own car is much higher than I would think. Yeah. So I'm giving that as my answer. The number is much higher than I would think. Well, according to Answers.com, and I'm not sure how much I can trust Answers.com, but according to Answers.com, not a sponsor, roughly 6,000 people are run over by their own cars every year. That is much higher than I would think. 6,000. 6,000. This is what I think is happening, and we all need to be prepared. We're, we're prepared for, like, a civil war because all of our nation's angry whites are getting pissed off. And we're preparing for zombie apocalypses. There's a whole... Uh, uh, there are businesses out there that are making all of their money just on getting people prepared for a zombie apocalypse. There are people prepared for nuclear war. But I think what we need to really start preparing for now is a Carmageddon. Yeah. Because the cars are, are upset at us. The cars are pissed, and the cars are, are starting to fight back. And I yes. think that, that we all need to start taking this Carmageddon seriously. Yes. That's what I'm upset. Uh, there, there, there is one final sign before the Carmageddon, and, and that's really what you want to look out for. Okay, what's okay. the sign? When the stork drops an eight ball on Stephen King's stoop. Ah, okay, yes. Carmageddon is nigh. Yeah. So just be prepared next time you go into your car. Uh, I would keep an eye on your car while you're driving it. Because yeah. things are starting to... Uh, cars, cars are sus right now. Cars are real sus. And I would just be prepared. And you know what? You should probably keep a clothes hanger in your car. Yeah. Just in case you need to fight it off. Because everyone knows in any kind, in any kind of demic, you really need a clothes hanger nearby. That's yes, one thing do. I learned from this summer. And so... Just, uh, hey, a public service announcement from the Pope on Film podcast. The more you know. Do, 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 do. That's the star going behind me. Yes. And cut on that.